Borderlands pre-sequel is the newest installation in the Borderlands franchise. It takes place between Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. It kind of fills in some of the, the gaps on uh, what happened between those two games because when you start Borderlands 2, it's clear that there's been a lot of time that's transpired and that there are a lot of things that have happened. Handsome Jack was like such a fun character. Like, he was this great villain that people love to hate. We kind of wanted to show this, this evolution of his character, kind of try to tell the story of like a hero's fall from grace. What are the sort of things that could happen that would kind of twist somebody down that path? Handsome Jack is going to kill us all unless you can stop him. Because so far, Borderlands has only taken place on Pandora. Um, but now, we get to take players to new environments. We get to take them to space. We take it to the moon, which is Elpis. Uh, and we're going to take them to Helios, which is that big uh, Hyperion space station that Borderlands 2 you see up in the sky. And we knew that players were really going to want to make it there. And uh, you get to see some really cool creatures that have some really interesting attacks. Uh, we're kind of really pushing um, what we can do with the gear system and having things like cryo elemental and lasers that have all these really cool effects on them uh, that also have these really interesting ways that they interact with enemies because you can freeze enemies, you can shatter them. Whenever they're flying above you, if you freeze them, they can, you can basically use them as a new kind of attack so that they fall on enemies. Um, we have all these different things that um, we're introducing to the game to really kind of uh, mix it up and have some really cool combat, some really cool gear. I think Borderlands as a franchise is so special because we have these very compelling characters that um, you interact with and even that you get to play as. And the fans have been really awesome and they have so many great ideas. We actively go through the forums and look at what people are saying and we got a lot of you know, feedback on the desire to play as Claptrap and we're like, well, great, you know, we should, we should definitely give this a try. Secret handshake! Borderlands has always had a real rich history of having lots of particle systems. Everything in the game is driven by a particle system. In the pre-sequel, we're pushing that kind of to another level. We're literally increasing all the particle counts. Phys X is one of those elements that's really going to stand out. There's all these really cool things that NVIDIA is bringing to the table with it. What you'll see that will be dramatically different is the fidelity and the resolution of fluids is going to be very interesting. You'll see it splatter on different surfaces, roll around, and then you can take a different weapon like an explosive grenade or even one of the laser type weapons and interact with that. Uh, we want you to, to have this very visual satisfaction from, from what you're doing and just having all of these you know, sparks and explosions flying everywhere and these flames and acid and electricity, it, it just makes the game look really, really cool. Yeah, especially whenever you're able to run it on the higher settings, it just really looks rad. Secret handshake! Okay.